explain to me. And I think it is a, 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 an innocent uh, uh, motion, Honorable Speaker. I, I, will, I will second it. But as I do so, Honorable Speaker, I'm reminded. I'm reminded that, uh, and I'm happy with your ruling. You are directive to the Labour majority on the issue I raised earlier. I'm very happy with that. That in two hours' time, we shall get some feedback. But I'm also reminded that in addition to Oguda, there are other seven Kenyans who are also in, uh, under abduction. And these are Osama, one called Dre, Tempa CR7, Harriet, Shad Kiprono, or Franje, and Wildsmith. These are young Kenyans, they are basically Gen Z, who are also, uh, uh, who are also missing. There are also parliamentary staffers? No. They are not. They are not. They are, they are Kenyans. Yes. They are Kenyans who are patriotic, honorable speaker. So as the leader majority con, con, uh, consults with the IG of police, Mr. Komi, let the IG also come forth with the whereabouts of these other seven Kenyans. Honorable pass, speaker. pass on the names to the majority leader. Yes. These are young and Kenyans who are fighting for our rights, for the rights of the downtrodden, honorable speaker. Thank you. I second. Order, order, member for Kenny, take your seat. Take the nearest seat. Honorable members, order, order, honorable Kwame, take your seat. Honorable members, uh, you realize the majority leader has moved the motion as it appears on the order paper in an amended form, uh, from uh, resumption on 23rd to 16th. I now propose the question, which is that pursuant the provisions of Standing Order 28-4, this House resolves to alter its calendar for the third session, regular sessions, as adopted on Wednesday, 14th February 2024, by varying the period for the short recess with respect to the second part of the session so that A, the short recess commences on Friday, 28th June 2024 and ends on Monday, 15th July 2024 and B, the House resumes regular sittings on Tuesday, 16th July 2024 to continue with the second part of the session. We put the question. What? I thank you, Mr. Speaker. I know this is a procedural motion, and in ordinarily, under ordinary circumstances, we would support. But, Mr. Speaker, I want to oppose this motion. The reason why I oppose this motion. We are at a critical moment of this country, especially this week and possibly next week. We are the people's elected representatives. It is important for us to delay our recess, just to study what is going on in the country. And if there is a requirement that we sit and make some adjustments, then we would be here to make those adjustments. It would be responsible for us, Mr. Speaker, when our young generation are out there in the street protesting against some of the decisions that we make. This is the time, Mr. Speaker, I don't see why we should break this week. Let us have this week and the following week. If things are going to calm, Mr. Speaker, then we can proceed on recess beginning end of next week. But going on recess this week, I want to persuade this Honorable House, will be irresponsible, will be insensitive to the plight of Kenyans out there. And therefore, I oppose. I put the question. Yes, Jeanette. Mr. Speaker, thank you for giving me an opportunity. Mr. Speaker, I have heard what Honorable Mbadi has said, but in my view, now that we are dealing with a very important issue of the finance bill, I think it is important we go on recess so that we can go and explain to our people why some people voted yes and why some people voted no. We go back to our constituents, Mr. Speaker. We explain. I support the motion, Mr. Speaker. Order. I'll now put